Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here again. And, you know, happy Tuesday, guys. And with Tuesday comes a common charity deck if I have it. And, again, you guys already read the title. So you guys know it's going to be desk bots. So, quick word to the uh, to the viewer. Uh, today's deck and, let's see, today's Tuesday. So Wednesday's test hands and Thursday's deck are going to be... Fairly similar, but the punchline will end differently. So I do hope that you'll enjoy both. Um, but don't go into it thinking that it's going to be an entirely different deck. Just enough to warrant another version. So let's start this off and get you guys a list. And real quick, uh, it's going to be one of one. You're going to run three of just about everything else. So we're going to have three twos, three desk bot threes, three desk bot fours, Three fives, three sixes. Here's where we go to some singles. We're gonna have one copy of number seven, one copy of number eight, and this is important. Uh, I generally try to use them for the scales, um, and then two copies of number nine. And again, you guys will see all of this uh, and understand this when we go over their effects. Um, and outside of the desk bots themselves, I use four other monster cards. Uh, real quick, the first one up will be three copies of Battle Fader. And again, uh, when I built this like the first time around, I was playing Speedroid Mancos. And one thing that you can't do with Speedroid Manco right now, uh, since it would change all opponents' monsters to defense position, is uh, successfully guarantee that resolution. Uh, and just again, I got this quick link just sitting on the table. You're going to notice a lack of a defense mode uh, and a defense value, meaning that these guys can never be face down in defense or uh, in face up defense. So any move that would do that, you know, Windstorm of Ataqua, uh, Zero Gravity, or in this case, Speedroid Manco, these moves are all just negate. Uh, they don't really mean too much. Uh, so we needed the Battle Fader in order to ensure what we're going to do. Plus, we're going to use Link Kuriba later, guys. So, like, Synergy. And then the last monster we're going to use, single copy Genix Ally Birdman. Uh, again, I'm going to leave that. I have no clue what that noise was. Uh, but I'm going to leave that up for another second. And then we're going to do some movie magic. And we'll sort of just clear the field away. Um, up next, we're going to go over our spells and our, uh, our trap. Uh, we do run a single card uh, for our traps today. Uh, but before we get there, let's talk about our field spell. We're going to run two copies of Deskbot Base. Uh, we're going to run a lot of singles. One of those is going to be Foolish Burial. Uh, one of those will be Instant Fusion. Again, Foolish Burial helps us set up the Deskbot 1. Instant Fusion lets us get into some other weird plays. Um, going into some doubles, we've got the, uh, the Limiter Removal. We're going to run that at double. You're going to need a full complement or a full play set of the machine duplication in order to go for like some OTK boards. Uh, single Monster Reborn, single Terraforming, and two copies Twin Twisters. And what's good about Twin Twisters right now, I'm noticing a lot more back row in Common Charity, at least for the moment. Um, especially with Potted Desire down to one. Um, I'm just, I'm seeing that this is useful and then again we can also offload that uh, Deskbot 1 to the discard pile, so this way we could get his effect off later uh, by using this. And then our trap, three copies of Solemn Strike. So I'm going to leave that up there for a minute uh, and let you guys just go ahead and make your notes if you have to, pause the screen, whatever you got to do. And then we're going to go ahead and clear that off as well right now. And all that's going to leave now is our extra deck. So real quick, uh, you're going to have two Instant Fusion targets. Uh, we are going to run Panzer Dragon. No, before you say it, we're not doing anything with Cyber Dragon Nova. It's just not happening. You'll get it in a second. Uh, and the other one will be Thousand Eyes Restrict. And again, since we are going to be using our Link Karibo, which I kind of already gave away earlier, uh, we'll be able to instant fuse, use the Link, uh, use, sorry, use the Restrict's effect, and then go off into Link Karibo and still generate a protection. Uh, whereas we could get a double protection out of a single Battle Fader this way. Uh, or we could perform link climbing later, uh, whatever you like. Uh, we're going to run a handful of synchros. Those are going to be Black Rose Dragon, Deskbot Jet, and Red, Red Wyvern, or Wyvern. I don't, I don't want to get into that debate. Uh, that's tomato-tomato to me. So either way, uh, you're right. 
Uh, drill driver at Vespinato. This is the reason for the Panzer Dragon. It just makes the play easier. Uh, and then we're going to use Time Thief Redoer and Tornado Dragon as our additional rank fours. Uh, and then moving off into our great plays with our links. Uh, barricade board blocker because you guys want to do you do want to protect your field spell. Uh, bore load helps you go for some game. Gravity controller is another great option instead of going to your link Karibo off the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, just kind of be aware of where your cards are being placed. Uh, link Karibo. Uh, Steel Star Regulator. This card is actually going up for me personally. Like I, I kind of like it. Um, Triple Burst Dragon and Underclock Taker. And these two, they really don't need any introduction. So, real quick, guys, that was the deck. This is the extra deck. Everything's there. While you guys are still writing down your notes, I'm going to go ahead and thank you guys for stopping by because, really, that means everything to me. Um, if you guys have any ways to make this better within the common charity realm, remembering that uh, we play by the advanced ban list, but the cards that are legal also have to be the common version of themselves. So if there's no common release, the card is considered banned. Um, go ahead, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a conversation about it. Um, but if you'd like to support the channel, and it seems like some of you guys do, uh, easiest, cheapest way to do that, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, just keep watching. Keep coming back, keep enjoying your time. Uh, and if you were just here for the deck list, you guys go have a great day. Go do something for yourself. Um, everybody else, let's let's go ahead. We're going to talk about uh, the card choices and the effects and why they all balance out. And then uh, we'll let the rest of you guys go and have a great day, okay? And then tomorrow we're going to get some test hands. So let me get a sip of water. Throat's getting a little raw. And uh, let's get it. So going back into the main deck, starting with good old Deskbot 1, this is going to be one of our two tuners in the deck. Uh, this and Galax Ally Birdman. Uh, this guy will gain 500 attack and defense for every machine monster that I control. If two or more machine monsters are special summoned at the same time while this is in the graveyard, except during the damage step, we can then special summon this. So again, if we can set up our pendulum scales and swing for more than two characters, uh, we get free Deskbot 1 plays. So fantastic. Um, also during Machine Dupe. Um, Deskbot 2, if this is special summoned, you can add one Deskbot card from your deck to the hand. All machine monsters you control gain 500 in attack and defense, except this card. So if you get all three of them out on a machine dupe, everything but the Deskbot 2s is up by 15. The Deskbot 2s will be up by 1,000, making them all 15. Um, and it's just a great way to kind of swarm the field. And additionally, you get Deskbot cards. So this is spells, this is traps, this is monsters, it's your choice. Um, again, we don't. I don't think they even have a trap, just a field spell. But uh, again, very good card to play. Uh, Deskbot 3, when this is normal summoned, you can special summon one Deskbot from the deck except 3. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target a Deskbot monster you control. It gains 500 attack and defense for each Deskbot card you currently control until the end of the turn. So he helps amp things up, and as a generalized starter, three is good to play for two, which is good to play for dupe. So, like, there's it, it's crazy, it's cool, and you can get a big swing out of that. Um, you do have Deskbot number four. He's kind of a technical play, so that's kind of cool. Uh, if this card battles an opponent's monster during the damage calculation in either player's turn, or as today we would call it a quick effect, you can activate this effect once per battle. Your opponent takes no battle damage for the remainder of the turn and send one Deskbot monster from your deck to the graveyard, except number four. If you do, this card gains attack and defense equal to the sent monster's level times 500, which again with the nines will allow us to add 4,500. So even if this guy is alone, he can tangle with something up to 5k, which I think is kind of amazing. Uh, during the damage calculation only. Uh, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon two Deskbot monsters with different levels from your hand and or grave in defense position. And again, I think this is what they're talking about with the damage steps. So uh, Deskbot 1 shouldn't be able to come back off of 4's effect. Um, just is what it is. Uh, Deskbot 5. Uh, and honestly, every Deskbot monster here um, has the same pendulum scale effect. You cannot Pendulum Summon Monsters except Deskbot Monsters. This effect 
cannot be negated. That's going to go for all four of them. So uh, again, when you're running ones and tens as your scales, being able to swing the pendulum for two through nine, um, it really matters that you that you make it inclusive to the archetype. That said, we're just going to go over the monster effects now. Uh, so if this is normal or special summon, you can target one spell trap card on the field, destroy it. So these are MSTs. Uh, this card gains 500 attack for each face-up despot monster in your extra deck. So again, based on the amount of pendulum cards, if this card is in the er, sorry, if this card in the pendulum zone is destroyed, target a despot monster in the graveyard, special summon it. Each effect, sorry, use this effect only once per turn. So very cool. And number six, if normal or special summon, target a monster on the field, change its battle position. Again, we can't do this to Lynx. It's like the only thing we can't do it to. Um, change its battle position. This card gains 500 attack for each face-up despot monster in the extra deck. If this is in the pendulum zone is destroyed, you can target a despot card in the graveyard and add that back to your hand. So that's pretty cool. Gives us a little rejuvenation. Number seven. Gain 500 attack for each deskbot card in the graveyard. Monsters, your opponent control cannot target face-up deskbot monsters for attacks except this one. If this attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. Number 8, five, gains 500 for every deskbot in the graveyard. The opponent cannot target this face-up deskbot, or cannot target face-up deskbot cards with card effects except this one. And this one can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. And that's important that it's on monsters. Um, so, and then there's number nine. So once per turn during the main phase one, you can make this card gain attack equal to the combined attack of all desk bot monsters you currently control, except number nine, because again, that would get weird, until the end of your opponent's turn. Only this card can attack the turn this effect is activated. If this card battles, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one despot card you control instead. So he's kind of their boss monster, and he's kind of cool looking. And then, you know, basic things. Uh, battle Fader, when your opponent declares a direct attack, special summon this from the hand and the battle phase. Uh, when this leaves the field, after being played this way, banish it. Genix Allied Birdman, return one face-up monster. Uh, you control to the hand, special summon this from the hand, banish it when it leaves the field. Also, it gains 500 attack if the returned card would, was wind. Again, I don't see us doing that, but... And by that, I mean getting the wind attribute. Everybody else was uh, was Earth. And I guess Tornado Dragon. Tornado Dragon could give us that power bonus. So you know what? Never say never, guys. Never say never. As far as the base... All Despot monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. So you really want to do your machine dupe before you play the field spell. Uh, once per turn, you may reveal any number of Despot cards in your hand. Shuffle them into the deck. Draw the same number of cards. You can banish nine Despot uh, cards with different names from your field and or graveyard except base. Shuffle all cards from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard into the deck. Uh, so again, it's you're probably never going to activate that last effect. But you will definitely be reloading your hand a lot with this, uh, which makes this deck a lot of fun. Uh, Foolish Burial, send a monster from deck to discard. Again, we're going to set up with Dumber 1. Instant Fusion, pay the 1,000, get your Fusion monster for the turn. Can't attack directly. Uh, maybe you can't attack at all. Do, 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 do. Can't attack at all. That's fine. Um, again, we're generally just going to use that monster's effect real quick. Double limiters, again, double over the attack of all machines that you currently control until the end of the turn. During the end phase, pop them. So that's your go for game spell. Uh, the machine dupe, target a machine that you control with 500 attack or less. Special summon up the two monsters, same name from the deck as the face-up monster. Again, you pretty much want to do this before you get to your field spell, um, because your field spell will put you out of contention for this real quick. Reborn, good extender, terraforming, helps us get our field spell. Twin Twisters disrupts the back row, and Solemn Strike stops special summons and monster effects for a very reasonable price of 1,500 life. So, not bad, not terrible. And then that'll take us over to our extra deck. So again, the Panzer Dragon, I'm only using him because he's a machine, um, and he fit my theming, but he's really here to help you get to Vespinato a little quicker. Uh, and Thousand Eyes Restrict is for a little bit of control play that can go a couple of ways. 
Black Rose Dragon, you can get to seven. Uh, it's not impossible. And this will allow you to destroy the entire field if you have to start over. Uh, the Despot Jet, and I really should have done a quick count on this before we came in here. I wanted to say it was a 10 star, so let's cover five stars. I still see five stars. So he is a 10 star. Tuner plus non-tuners. Now uh, this card gains 500 attack and defense for each Despot card on the field. This will count the field spell. You can only use one of the following effects per turn and only once that turn. So you can target a Despot card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon a Despot from the deck. Or you can target a Despot you control, uh, sorry, a card you control, and one face-up card on the field and destroy both. So it's, it's tech, it's cool. I didn't value it more than a single copy. Uh, Red Wyvern, which is how I pronounce that. Um, good little six star, 2400, decent strength. Um, during either player's turn, if a monster with higher attack than this Synchro Summoned card is on the field, uh, you can destroy the one face-up card on the field that has the highest attack. Your choice if tied. This effect can only be used once while this card is face-up on the field. Um, so again, um, it's just a matter of like popping something. I don't know. I don't know why it's paced right there. Um, the Drill Driver Vespinato is two level five monsters. Again, this is the reason for the Panzer Dragon. Uh, once per turn, you can also Xyz summon this using a rank four. So, I mean, you do have that Xyz evolution capability here. Um, monster, yeah, sorry. Uh, use that monster as a material and then transfer its materials. This card cannot be used as material for an Xyz summon the turn. It is Xyz summoned. Uh, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. If this Xyz summoned card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can target one level five or lower in your graveyard. Special summon it. Uh, so it'll just, it's just a little bit of an extension. You can also get off of a uh, Time Thief or a Tornado Dragon if you want. Uh, but sometimes this just helps you buff up. Plus it's a machine, so when you go for the limited removal strike at the end, uh, this may actually increase your power cap. Uh, time Thief Redoer, just any two fours. Once per turn during the standby phase, you can attach the top card of your opponent's deck to this card as material. As a quick effect, you may detach up to three different types of materials, uh, then apply the following effects depending on what was detached. If monsters are detached, you can banish this until the end phase. If it's a spell, you get to draw a card. And if it is a trap, place a face-up card your opponent controls on the top of the deck, uh, which again allows you to seal it in order to steal it. So that's pretty cool, and you can only use the effect once per turn. So he's kind of cool, plus he looks amazing. Uh... And it's just good tech. Uh, Tornado Dragon, two level fours. It's going to be double MST as a quick effect. Can't beat that. Barricade Board Blocker, two monsters, different names. Uh, if this card is Link Summoned, you can detach one card during the end phase of this turn. Add a continuous or field spell from your graveyard to your hand. So we can back our Despot base if we wanted to. Um, and you can also use this effect uh, once per turn. Uh, generically, though, face-up spells you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So it will protect our field spell. Uh, we are using the Boar Load, 3 plus effects. Neither player can target this with card effects, uh, monster effects, sorry. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face-up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can place that opponent's monster in a zone this card points to and take control of it. Send it to the graveyard during the end phase of the next turn. So you'll keep it until the end of your opponent's next turn. So that's fine. Um, and again, it does have the ability to help you go into more linking. Uh, we do have the Gravity Controller. Uh, it does require one non-link monster in an extra monster zone. And it has to be your extra monster zone. You can't just use your opponent's. Um, so again, this is another great way to get rid of the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, because Instant Fusion, and I do want to say, even though mine's a little outdated... Um, it is considered a fusion summon, so we can, in fact, place that card up into the extra zone when playing. So keep that in mind when you're playing this. Otherwise, this guy's Neospatian Grand Mole for links. Uh, cannot be used as link material to turn as link summon. This card in the extra monster zone cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster in the main zones. 
And at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster in the extra monster zone, you may return both to the deck. So again, fantastic card. You guys should know Link Karibo by now. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, tribute this, change that monster's attack to zero to the end of the turn. And if this is in the graveyard, you can tribute a level one monster, special summon it back, using this effect only once per turn. And again, this is a great way to get rid of battle faders after you've been attacked directly. Steel Star Regulator, really cool card. Three non-links. Gain attack equal to the combined original levels uh, and, and or ranks of the monsters used for the link summon. And again, we got nine, eight, seven. So like we can get pretty big here. Uh, plus, or sorry, times 100. So again, if you were able to do three nines, it would be 2,700 right there. And you'd add that for a 3,700 card. It'd be fantastic. Uh, you can target one non-link monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card. Destroy it. Then if this card was link summoned using an Xyz monster's material, inflict damage to the opponent equal to half the destroyed monster's original attack. You can use this effect of regulator once per turn. And again, we do have ways to use Vespinata to do this. It's fine. Um, but it's just a really fun little uh, selective destruction card. And very cool for common charity. Uh, Triple Burst Dragon. I think you guys know why this is good. Two, two or more monsters accept tokens once per turn during a damage step when a spell trap or monster effect is activated. Quick effect, negate it. Uh, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing. Uh, during the main phase, except the turn is with special summoned. You could tribute this card, then target one link uh, two or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, then you could special summon one level four lower dragon from your hand. Again, we're not playing dragons, so you're probably not going to activate that last effect. Uh, but being able to negate things during the damage step is kind of amazing. And then, of course, under Clock Taker, two effect monsters. Once per turn, target one face-up monster this card points to. And one face-up monster your opponent controls. The opponent's target loses attack equal to the target on your side of the field until the end of the turn. So the stronger the monster that this guy is pointing to, the bigger a deficit the opponent's monster is going to have. And again, when you're talking about being able to overrun things and get into limited removal plays... Um, that's that's almost a GG right there sometimes. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to do some test hands tomorrow. I'm going to do a couple going first, do a couple going second. I just kind of want to see just, again, uh, it's probably going to draw a little weird because I'm probably going to leave this thing uh, darn near alphabetical right up until before I shoot the video. So I'm going to make a point to shuffle the crap out of this thing tonight uh, so I get some true test hands and not just so like the weird, okay, here, here's a test hand. Here's a good one. And like a clump, clump, clump. Uh, hopefully we don't get that. And seriously, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. And uh, have a good one. Later.